Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And Robbie has declared he's going to destroy the shoe on the Alps all alone. <laughs> My vengeance shall be had. I don't know, no theme for this one, Robbie. No, oh, no, we, sh we should have got like unicorns and had like a, a horn, Pegasus fight. A horn fight. Well, a Pegasus doesn't have horns. That's a unicorn you're thinking of. Doesn't it Pegasus? Oh, Pegasus is the link. Yeah. Okay, scrap that. <laughs> no, they were definitely keeping that. Mythology uh, and Robbie. Robbie, let's talk about the upper. Okay, well, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this shoe, first of all. It's one of three primary Nike trail shoes. I think only three Nike trail shoes. Wild Horse. We got the Terra Kiger 7 Wild Horse 7. Here we go. Looks like Lego Masters went buck wild on that one. And uh, the Nike Pegasus Trail 3. Boy, we're really hitting the children's show today. Lego <laughs> Masters, My Little Pony. <laughs> it's either, we're either real creepy or we have kids. We have kids. And a little creepy. <laughs> so the Wild Horse uh, is more of a, it's like a lighter Max Cushion, not Max Cushion, but it's just like a standard trail shoe, um, which we kind of liked. The Terra Kiger is probably my, was my favorite of the three. Uh, it just kind of like feels faster. It almost feels like a soccer cleat. Um, we reviewed that. Don't have that with me because it got stolen out of my car like three weeks ago, mm -hmm. so that was cool. And then the uh, Peg Trail 3, which is their more... S somebody scored how many pairs of seven and a half shoes? I got like a few of them. Huh? It's like, all right, good luck with those. Yeah. And the uh, Peg Trail 3, which is more their max cushion, like if you're going for the long haul type of situation. Like I felt, well, before we get into the use of it, because I want to talk about when, when we get into the running, okay. let's go over some of the details yeah. in the upper, because I, I really think there's some clever stuff here. Yeah, I mean, it's just your like kind of standard mesh upper, uh, very comfortable. A little bit different than last year's version, especially with the lacing system, uh, which I, don't know, I liked a lot in this year's version. I felt like you could get like a really good lockdown. Really comfortable upper, I really yeah. liked it. The upper was breathable, it drained well when it got wet, but what I really dig is this bumper up front, like as far as toe protection, you've got a little bit of diamond it is nice. rubber applique over the toe, like it feels sturdy when you're going through, but it doesn't feel like a tank. Like sometimes you get this much protection up front and you feel like you're running in a tank. Doesn't feel like this one. Yeah. And I just felt like the lockdown was good. You've got a gusseted tongue, Robbie, on a trail shoe. Yeah, you can't go wrong with the gusset. It stays in place. And overall, yeah, I really enjoy the upper of the shoe. Um, not my favorite part about the shoe, that's coming up. Not any heel lift though. No. Like it locked in over this fantastic mm -hmm. React midsole. Yeah, it's great. I that, love it. it that it, you're going to tell me is your favorite part of this shoe. Yeah. And yours. Yeah. Uh, the React midsole is phenomenal. It's really the same as last year's version. So if you like the last year's version, you know what you're getting. But we, neither of us ran in the Pig Trail 2 last year. So it's kind of new to us. And I was like, damn, I wish it was a road shoe. My biggest thing about this, like if you could slim down the outsole, and maybe slim down the upper, because you don't need the bumper on the roads necessarily. Mm -hmm. The way this React feels under the foot was the closest anything felt to me since the Epic React. Yeah, I mean, the Ter so the Terra Kiger is also a full React midsole, and I actually like that as a road shoe as well. Like, same thing, I wish they could trim down the outsole and not just turn it into a road shoe. When we did one of our runs, it was a mix of trail and road. And I felt like it just sang on both terrains. Like I felt great running running on the soft trails and the Yeah, hard and this has a pretty high stack, like 36 millimeters in the back, 26 in the front end. So that sounds like a 10 millimeter drop. It is, math. But it didn't feel like terrible on the trails as far as like- I did not, yeah. Like instability type I stuff. didn't feel, like you were wearing, the day that we did the one trail run, you were wearing the Saucony mm -hmm. um, endorphin, endorphin, endorphin trail. trail. And it looks so high and stacked. And this one just didn't look high and doesn't feel high on it. It's, I guess it's got a wide enough base that yeah. it feels pretty stable. I think that helps. Uh, it's also not as, actually we can get the weight on it. It's not as heavy as the uh, Endorphin Trail. So for your size 10 and a half, it is? Almost 12 ounces, which is insane. It does not feel that, that heavy. It's weird. And then <laughs> that's 300, 
340 you, grams. That just blew my mind because we didn't weigh this. And this is sometimes why we don't weigh the shoe before we run it. This I would normally consider an amazingly heavy shoe. It feels light on the foot. It's actually really weird because I was like, yeah, the same thing. Didn't measure it before we ran. And I was like, mm, this feels not bad. I mean, a little bit heavy, but not bad. It's 12 ounces for your... Yeah, <laughs> which it didn't feel like. And we ended up, it was one of those runs where we were supposed to only be going for a four mile trail run. And Robbie was like, but there's a waterfall about a half mile from here. Said, quarter mile. I said I quarter mile. And it was like two miles. <laughs> yeah. And the next thing you know, we did a nine mile run in these, or yeah, it was nine miles, right? Totally. Yeah. yeah. Nine miles. There's some running, some walking, some everything. My only issue with this shoe, Robbie. Yeah. And this is, man, I wish I would put this at the front just because I'm so angry about it. Is the outsole grip is a complete trash. Yeah. It's garbage. It's when, literally when, the worst outsole probably I've ever worn. When we went to the waterfall, I didn't notice the outsole so much on the trail. And even on the road, it wasn't so bad. But when we went to the waterfall, there's wet rocks, stuff like that. And as I was trying to make my way across the stream, like the, it, it felt like I had skates on. Like yeah. I felt like I would have better grip barefoot. And let's be honest, like I know rocks are wet, like they're slippery and they have moss on them and shit like that. But it's, <laughs> can I say that? Yeah, I guess Whatever. so. Can you? But Do they have moss on it? Like. Yeah. I just saw rocks. Moss, moss right. is, yeah, it's cool. The nature's cool with that. Yeah. There's a difference between like, kind of slipping and then this slip, which is just like. Like glass. Like, dude, last week I went on a trail run and Brandon was on it and we, same thing, Patapsco crossing the creek. And I was like, I'm just gonna put my foot on one wet rock and just like be super sure about it. Right straight in the water. Like not even, didn't even have a chance. Nike has, all the resources in the world. And we've tried like innovate, incredible rubber grip. Great. We've got, uh, I mean, even the uh, Solomon that we just uh, reviewed, the Ultra, the Ultra Glide. Glide. Great. Uh, VJ Ultra, not like a, they're a finished brand that we're reviewing. Re re reviewers love their grip, amazing. And it's a small company, you know? Yeah. It's like, so Nike, come on, man. Like seriously, I don't know what your thing is if you can't like, do stuff with Vibram, but like get it together. Like just figure it out. Well, I mean, even Puma did their own rubber compound that did really well, the Puma Grip. So we know that you can do it. And it would just like, this shoe would be aces. Yeah, I mean, and I'm sure it's durable because you know, the harder it and is, the more durable it is. So I'm sure it'll last forever on your West Coast trails. Like, I don't know, are you guys rev only reviewing these on like testing these on West Coast trails? Cause Probably it's like dirt trails. Yeah. But I would say Robbie, with that, this is an ideal shoe for those type of trails. Cause yeah. it is a road to trail shoe. Like I feel like you can, the weight might feel a little heavier on the road, but this is definitely a shoe that you can take from your doorstep to the trails. And you can run a, comfort. You could run a long time in this shoe and feel great for sure. So if you are on those West Coast trails, you don't have to worry about slipping on rocks and you just want something that's comfortable, cushion gonna like, it's basically almost a road shoe just with some too much bad rubber. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> it, you can do that. So. My, I would tell you the shoe I'd probably compare this to, Robbie, is the Solomon Ultra Glide, and I don't think that you feel the same. But that's a shoe that has a soft cushion, but it has a really nice grip and a really nice fitting upper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. More, uh, more probably more space in the toe box. The Ultra Glide. It's a little bit wider. Uh, but would you say this is not wide though? Would you call this narrow? No, I mean, it's wider for Nike shoe for, for sure. sure. Um, like the Kiger's pretty, like it's very shallow toe box and stuff. This is very nicely accommodating. And you can tell from this review, this is a topic that Robbie's passionate about. Yeah, I've never opened up like this. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's like, I'm gonna tell you everything. <laughs> but seriously, it's like my life mission to get Nike to change their outsole. So I know you're watching Nike, so. Yeah. Get on it. But other than that, I like the fit of the shoe, styling of the shoe. I'm not keen with this teal, but you can see it in this light pink that I Brandon like, thinks is white. I like, yeah, he's colored blind. I like to call it strawberries and cream. I don't know, it seems summery to me. It's a, this is the women's colorway. It's freaking awesome. I, I kind of feel like they should just get rid of women's and men's colorways and just let you pick from nice colors. I, I agree. Like, you know what, who cares? Like pink, dudes are rocking pink. And this isn't really pink pink, that's more like a, like you said, a creamy, like yogurt, like if you just popped open a strawberry yogurt. Oh yeah, before mixing it up. Yeah, 
Yeah. Exactly. You get all that stuff at the bottom. Yeah. It, it's fruit surprise. Yeah. What do they call that? That has good stuff at the bottom. This has <laughs> oh, garbage at the bottom. There you go. You just got beat by a pack Chobani. of briars. Yeah. <laughs> Giovanni just gave you the F. <laughs> all right. I don't know. I dig this shoe. I really like it. As long as I stay away from wet, wet rocks, I think it's a good shoe. And I think if you if you were living in the Utah area and there's dry, dusty trails for miles, this shoe is gonna feel great. Yeah, I mean you can and like the one dude who runs with us, uh, who leads our Thursday night trail runs, he wears this a lot. Who that? Uber. John? Yeah, he, he's wearing. But this. not like if it's raining and stuff like that, then definitely not. But if it's just like drier, drier conditions around here, then. Yeah. It works, but anyways. If there's a little uh, rain or stream crossings, maybe pick a different shoe. Other than that, this we'll shoe be, performs really well. We'll be very careful. Yeah. yeah. So anyways, cool. So that's this and it is- How much is this? $130, which isn't, you know, it was pretty fair for- a Regular peg is here. 120, right? Yeah, and I mean, you do get that big old stack react foam. Mm, so tasty and I like that this kind of looks like cookie dough. I do, yeah, I could eat that. Could bottle that up. Yeah. Bottle cookie dough. Squeeze. Put it in a squeeze bottle. Mm. So $130. It's out now. Pick it up if you'd like. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Hey, do you want to tell people that they should subscribe? I think I cough. Cough. I had this head cold. You're probably gonna get it now. Mm -mm. Oh, you're drinking super coffee. Yep. All right, protects you from. It keeps the energy up when Robbie slows everything down. Yeah. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe to us on here and like this video. Don't dislike it because that makes us sad. It does. Uh, like, if, well, if you're into playing with people's emotions, go ahead. All right. But for those of you who like <laughs> to see us dislike. smile, hit the like button. Also, check us out on our Strava group because it's getting big. We're close to five thousand in our Strava. Yeah, and there's always like some random dude across the world who's like throwing out 175 mile weeks. I'm like, what? And I, I check it to make sure it's real, and it is, but it's... I don't know if it's real real. No, it's like... Is he on a bike? Well, the one guy was going like north to south for, to, in India for a while, okay. like running. It was wild. That was crazy. Um, it doesn't matter for this video. Yeah, and then also, you can check out the Drop Podcast where we talk to people, including shoe designers, and other shoe people. Maybe we'll talk to someone from Nike now. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, let's talk about this. And then, talk it out. yeah, and where else would we want people to interact with us? Definitely, if you're in town July 10th, come to the headquarter party. You can see this. Yeah. That. This. This. Close your eyes if we're gonna look at this. Yeah. Open it back up if you're looking at this. Yeah. By the way, speaking of Nike, Craig Angles. Oh boy, oh. that was gonna be sad. Yeah, that is sad. All right. But Nike had plenty of other successes, including uh, one of the son of one of our guests on our podcast. Matt Centrowitz. Yeah. Paul Chilimo. Ran pretty, Paul Chilimo. pretty fast. No, I haven't talked to Paul Chilimo. No. But or his dad. Him. Yeah. Me. You know what? You should, going, right? you should say goodbye to your mom. <laughs> See you, mom. Peace. You're probably getting these shoes. So. Oh. <laughs> Why are you breaking things? Um, no, anyways, funny. so yeah, make sure you eat your yogurt, get that protein. What do they call that tree at the bottom or something at the bottom? Uh, tree at the bottom. What's the stuff that's good for your live cultures? Ooh, active, active, active cultures. cultures, yeah. Speaking yeah. of culture, this is active culture. Yeah, it, it, you are active in it and it's culture. Uh, it's culture yeah. yeah.